Good morning. February 25th, <clears throat> day 56 on the Appalachian Trail. Um, got up about 6 o'clock and getting a little food in the stomach. Uh, we ate a lot last night. We each actually had two meals. And uh, we were just right. So burning a lot of calories out here. But anyway... Um, we are getting packed up, and it's supposed to be a cold rain all day. So, getting the rain gear out, the umbrella, and um, getting everything sealed up, and we'll be out of here and on the trail. So, hope you guys are going to have a good Saturday. And as soon as we hit the trail, I will be back in touch. Have a good day. Good morning, everybody. It is quarter after eight. We've been on trail for about a hot 15 minutes. So the trail takes you down the street past the uh, gas stations under 81, and then you duck back into a field. And uh, that's where we're at right now. So um, our goal is to make it to Bear Garden. I'm gonna stop in there, possibly stay, especially if the weather's gonna be nasty. Um, as soon as we got on trail, and the first 100 feet, I had a tick on my leg and a tick on my hand. And it is upper 30s, low 40s, right in that area but uh, anyway I guess next town I come to I'll have to get some uh, where I can get to a Walmart or something get some permethrin and spray everything again as I got some new things plus I'm sure that stuff wore off that I put on before I left so other than that starting off the day uh, they said about nine o'clock when the heavy stuff will start it's been drizzling on and off nothing too i just had to look to see if my umbrella dropped too crazy but uh yeah see what this day brings so if we see something neat we'll make sure to capture it but uh pretty flat and uh calm for now. All right, we're gonna have to go up and over this. Keep the animals and the pen and the field. Did you get a picture? Uh, video. Oh, you, oh, so you wanna, you wanna record <laughs> this one and shit. That's 
one strong ladder. Hold me. And we're back in the woods. <clears throat> Yesterday we crossed a lot of streams. Got a feeling it's going to be that kind of a day today. I think this is the third one for today. All right, let's try and gain some ground. So oh, did some head down, driving through these miles, and uh, just thinking about where I started, where I'm at now, and looking forward to what's coming up and uh, happen to look up just for a second and what do you know we're a quarter of the way it's pretty awesome long way to go but uh that's an accomplishment i would say all right let's go get the rest of it Privy, middle of the woods, little some campsites, picnic tables. I take it there probably used to be a shelter here, but the privy's still here. Hey, you're walking along in the middle of the woods, and boom, good to go. Stadium seating for the fire. Cool stuff. Hey now. Well, the rain started. And then uh, about 10 minutes after it started, it stopped. That's because I got my umbrella out. Well, I'm going to keep it out because you know what happens as soon as I put it away. But, uh, yeah, at any second it's gonna let loose it's pretty dark and they're calling for it so get her done did about four miles um, not really much to see got a little view off each side going up and over smaller mountains uh, and along the ridges and on the side just a nice walk in the woods. So uh, as soon as I see something neat, you'll be the first to know after me. So we'll talk to you soon. This is the way the trail's been like a good, other than we first started in that field, it's been like this.
really good climb right there. That's not even a half of it though. There's a huge section. It's almost like Jacob's Ladder. Just not as long. Now I'll climb to the ridge and do a little, it's just weaving in and out, up and over. Temperature really dropped. Just drizzling right now. I was pouring earlier. Well, let's go. Okay, everybody. Hope you had a good Saturday. Um, we started out this morning. Um, it was kind of gloomy and uh, drizzly, and then it slowly got worse as the day went on. It was hit and miss with the rain, and then the rain came, and it rained hard, and the temperature really dropped, and the wind picked up a little bit, got really foggy, so uh, it wasn't pleasant. Uh, we hiked, uh, I would say, three quarters of the day in rain. Um, at least half the day it poured and got colder. So we're soaked to the bone. And with the temps dropping and with some of the logistics that we were looking at, we stopped at Bear Garden Hostel. Really neat place. So um, we're going to spend the night here dry off grab something to eat uh, we're gonna just eat out of our bags um, tomorrow we're gonna do 26.4 I'm right it's a little over 26 miles um, it's a slack pack uh, offering that they do uh, here at Bear Garden so they're gonna take us north and drop us off and uh, we're gonna walk around that big crater and then we're going to have to, uh, they say the creek we have to cross is about 40 feet across. And uh, it's about mid-thigh to waist deep. So after we go through that, we'll have about five, six miles left. So hopefully we'll get dried off by then, by the time we get back here. Um, we'll be probably finishing up at night, so we're taking our headlamps along. And the neat thing is they also have this um, 26 mile challenge. If you do that, she'll bake you a cake. Um, last year she said she baked 42 cakes. Um, Bert did, uh, Bernard, I think it's Bernadette. I'll have to look at her, her, they call her Bert. Super nice lady, Bert and Ron, Bert and Rob. 
the owners of the the uh, hostel. I'll put her picture up. Up, I'll get his picture tomorrow. But uh, super great people, super cool place. Uh, neat has everything that you need. Um, nothing fancy, but it doesn't have to be. So anyway, they're gonna take us up there. We're gonna slack pack, and then uh, that's the game plan for tomorrow. Monday, it's supposed to rain in the afternoon, so we're going to probably get out and uh, do an early day and not a real high miles, and then um, see where that takes us and uh, either shelter or camp. So that is the game plan for now. Um, this morning, we left the Relax Inn on, I think it was a Route 11, right by 81 there to a bear garden hostel it was a 12.8 mile day um very wet and damp it was one of them rains where it just chills you to the bone i'm still kind of cold but um warming up so i'm gonna go in here dry some things off get a uh, slack pack ready to go and uh we're gonna get cracking about 6 30 tomorrow morning and uh see how long it takes we got right off the bat we got a five mile climb so was described to me once you get up on the mountain there's like a huge crater that's eight miles it looks like a crater it's eight miles by four miles wide and it was actually a limestone sinkhole i think they is what far out said so it almost looks like a crater so you're basically walking around the rim of that um that's coming up tomorrow and then walking through that creek that ought to be a picnic so I'm going to go in here and get off my feet and let them rest up. My top of my foot's been really, really hurting. I got two more days of antibiotics to take for my Lyme disease, and hopefully that'll clear that up. Um, but the top of my foot, I'm pretty sure, is self-inflicted. Uh, banged it off a rock right at the metal tarsal spot. So other than that, it's uh, as you can see, it's still pretty foggy up in the mountains anyway. So uh gonna go in here, rest up. There is a section hiker here, really nice guy. I've been talking to him. I'll get his name and information and uh we'll go from there. Funny thing is I got to talking to him and he was describing uh his friend that uh used to hike a lot and now he can't because he's got uh Guillaume Beret and uh he doesn't know if he'll be able to hike again and uh he's trying to get back into it. Uh I said, Well, I gave him my name and my number anytime he wants to talk. I'm five years out and I'm on the trail. It's not easy and I still have residuals I got to deal with, but um, it can be done. Hopefully it can be done. I'm not done yet, but we're trying like hell. So going to wrap this up for today. Hope you had a good day. Uh, enjoy your Saturday night. I'm just going to go in here and probably cook up a nice hot ramen and hit the sack early so we'll talk to you guys at the trail in the morning and see you then got february 25th day 56 on the appalachian trail take care guys